There are so many religions and so many different gods. Why does Islam think it's the only true religion? All religions make this claim. If you list all the religions, Buddhism, does it have a god? No. Hinduism, does it really have a god? The answer is no. Hinduism is paganism. In the north of India, you have different gods worshipped to the south of India. So that really cancels out those two. Mm -hmm. Then you have Judaism, Christianity and Islam. We won't count Sikhism because Sikhism is a later development from Hinduism and, Islam. and the, the clash with Islam. Mm. Judaism would be discounted because it has become a racial religion. So even if someone adopted Judaism, they, they will always remain a second class Jew because it's a racial religion. So it leaves only the two religions. But in terms of Judaism, the concept of God or how they believe in God, very similar to Islam. Very similar. Yes. Yeah. So I, those two agree on that. Yeah. But then Christianity is man worship. In a sense. Literally, I think, yes. in the case of Jesus. Yes. So that cancels out Christianity because man worship mm. is illogical. So it only leaves Islam and Judaism. It's also and, idolatry because you're worshipping a creature yes. rather than God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. it only leaves Islam right. and Judaism. And between Judaism and Islam, Islam is a preservation of the true message of Islam from the time of. Well, but also Judaism doesn't claim to be a universal religion, it's the religion of the people of Israel, for Jews, whereas Islam does claim, you know, the Prophet Muhammad upon him, he said, I've been sent as a mercy to all the worlds. In other words, it's not limited to a nation or a tribe or a people, but for everything. So he only leaves Islam. <laughs> right, by a process of, of elimination.